all right people don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification that way you'll know when i upload the next video and you'll be supporting my channel follow me on twitter every time i upload a new video i'll be tweeting and this is most people don't know how bikes work but the channel very tassium yes i reacted to one very tassium video i think if i remember correctly i definitely reacted to one very tassium video yeah so very tassium is a great channel science channel 11 million subscriber right like vsauce like kuzgazar it's a great channel kuzgar more animation based this is more like vsauce than that vsauce is more sometimes based on you know philosophic philosophical approaches than this this is, i think this is the pure science channel i think yeah so he's going to talk about how bicycle works i guess so it's going to be fun Remember, well, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the reaction handy. There's a link in the description. Check out the classic thing, classic. Yeah, let's watch it. I, I I don't claim to be expert in you know any science field, but I I feel like I have good enough knowledge. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have a thing or two to say about this. Obviously, not a, not as much as him, right? He's the expert, but I don't know. Let's watch it. Most people don't know how bicycles actually work. Let's try, let's try again. So we oh. modified this bike to right. prove it. Oh, flip. This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. More about that. Alright, what do you mean how bicycle works? Right, wind spills gyroscopical gyros effect, right? Once you are in motion, right, you stay in that motion kind of easily. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, when you need it, right, because of the, you know, uh, roads and things cannot be even, I guess. So when you need, need it, you use your body to stabilize. I don't know. Is there more to that? At the end of the show. When you're riding a bike and you want to turn left, I think most people just imagine you turn the handlebars to the left. You lean a this bit. This is a bike to test whether that is true. And it's made by my friend Rick here. And he's got a radio controller that allows him to lock out the steering to one side. So what he's going to do is as I'm biking, he's going to pick whether I can turn either to the left or to the right. So go for it. I'm giving it a left turn. It pulls the pin out, but you can see that you can still fully steer. After I pulled the pin out, I've armed it. There's okay. where it locks. Okay. Now the, the that's when your LED comes on. That just says turn that way. Turn left. Y yeah. And if I try to turn right, can't. I can't. Right. And if I try to turn left, you can. I can. So the question is, can I successfully execute this left-hand turn? Should we give it a shot? I mean, he's not going to tell me whether it's left or right. All right. I don't want to be. I don't want to pause too much in this video. But how does that work? When you ride a bicycle. Most things are intuitive, right? It's quick like that. How do you see a light and then process? Isn't that a bit, that's laggy. Will that even work? I'm pretty sure I would make a million time mistakes if it's, you know, left side indicator comes out, probably turn right side or something like that. And as far as locking at one side, I thought it was just gonna lock one side, that's it. You know, you can only turn right or left. If that's the case, then there's a problem because you use steering to stabilize as well. I rode a bike a lot when I was a kid. Right, so sometimes, you know, you don't just lean because lots of times leaning alone doesn't work. So you have to, you know, to move steering a bit to stabilize. If one side is completely locked, there might be a problem. Right, so I have to look at the LED to know which way I can still turn. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. Okay. No. See, there you go, he didn't turn. That was That's meant why. to be a turn to the right, but there is no chance in hell. Left. Right. All right. Whoa, left. Right, right, right. God. If you look closely, you can see the problem. Here, I'm trying to turn right, but steering that way puts me off balance. If you could ride this bicycle, you would find it's impossible to turn left without first steering right, and it's impossible to turn right without first steering left. What? This... Where'd that come from? I was talking about stabilizing. He's saying if I were to turn right, I would, you know, turn left a bit. But he's not leaning. I mean, I guess that makes sense because object in motion wants to stay in that motion, right? So if like bicycle turns right, you're not gonna turn with it. So bicycle would basically lean left side. So if you turn a bit left, right, the bike would, you know, lean right side and then you can turn to counterbalance it. Because if bike, you know, leans like this, and then you turn, which wheel is it below this, right? It would, it would stabilize when it turns right. But doesn't this leaning solve that problem? If you just lean right and turn a bit right, wouldn't it, you know, turn right side anyway? I don't know. Ride this bicycle, you would find it's impossible to turn left without first steering right, 
and it's impossible to turn right without first steering left. This seems wrong. I think most people believe you turn a bike simply by pointing the handlebars in the direction you want to go. After all, this is how you drive a car. Point the front wheels any direction you like, and the car just goes that way. I mean, not really. I mean, if you are slow speed, sure it works. In higher speed, cars have suspensions, right? So when you turn right and the car leans left side, the suspension basically solves the problem and then eventually you turn right. If car had no suspension, car would be toppling over a lot, right? Depending on the speed and what the width of the wheelbase is. So yeah, I mean, it's, you know, scientifically it makes sense. Like I said, if you turn right, you know, obviously bicycle is going straight and now you turn wheel right and bicycle want to get, go straight. So of course it's gonna lean a bit left and also you want to go straight. So it will lean opposite direction. So if you turn a bit left then right, it makes sense. But I don't remember ever doing that. But the difference with a bicycle is steering doesn't just affect the direction you're headed, it also affects your balance. Imagine you wanna make a right turn. So you steer the handlebars to the right. What you've done is effectively steered the bike out from under you. Yeah. So now you're leaning to the left. And the ground puts a force on the bike to the left, so the only way not to fall is to steer the Yeah, because you know, this this, this uh you know, point of contact when you turn wants to go this side, but top half wants to go straight, so it's obviously gonna lean that side. Bike to the left. You have made a left turn. If you really wanted to turn right, you first have to counter steer to the left, so you can lean right into the turn. Yeah, because once the bicycle is leaning that direction, right, by turning right, you're making sure the top part doesn't fall over, which is trying to do because of the gravity. Yeah. This is something anyone who rides a bike knows intuitively, but not explicitly. Turn left. Film someone riding a bike towards you and tell them which direction to turn, and you will find they counter steer without even thinking about it. Hard left. Yeah, 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 that's really clear. When you're riding a bike, it's exactly the same as what we call an inverted pendulum or balancing a, a broomstick on your hand. If I'm balancing it and I just start walking toward you, it will always fall away from you. If I want to walk toward you, it's easy enough to do, and people inherently know how to do it. If I pull it backward, I can now start walking that way. I have to initiate the lean yeah. to turn into it. If you want to move the pendulum somewhere, you first move the base in the opposite direction. And now the pendulum is leaning in the direction you want to go, so you can move with it. And it's the same... Yeah, it's an easy thing, right? Once you lean it forward, the top part is trying to fall down towards the you know, earth, right? Because of gravity. Now you push it from here to forward, so you're preventing it from falling down, so it stays stable. ...you want to go, so you can move with it. And it's the same with a unicycle. In order to go forward, first you have to pedal back. So you're leaning forward, and then you can go forward with it. Everything you're doing on a unicycle is, is all about keeping that contact patch right where it needs to be relative to you. You're balancing the broomstick. It's just that on a unicycle, you do the longitudinal balance with the pedals, and you do the lateral balance, the side to side, the same as you do with a bike. You essentially sort of a small counter steer to get that weight to get the contact patch out, and then you can pedal in, and bring it under you. Now, I should point out that sometimes when the steering locked, we just happen to be leaning in the right direction to execute the turn. Right, 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 oh, right. Oh, managed it. Essentially, by sheer luck, we had counter-steered before that side of the handlebars locked out. Now now I can I can keep going. But yeah, but don't turn left or you're going to be Don't turn screwed. left. I can't stop, turn stop, left. Stop now. Stop now. What's interesting about this is it shows that you can still ride the bike perfectly well, right? It's just you can't turn left. The funny thing is that you couldn't initiate a turn. Right. I mean, the wild takeaway is that steering is not just for turning the bike. Steering is for balancing. That's exactly right. Why is it hard to balance on a stationary bike? I think most people believe it's because the wheels aren't spinning, so there's no gyroscopic effect. But that's not it. The truth is, you use steering to keep the bike underneath you. But steering doesn't work when you're stationary. Your balance comes not so much from how you position your body over the bike, but by how you steer the bike to keep it underneath you. 
Even when going straight, you're constantly making small steering adjustments to maintain balance. You're moving the contact patch of the front. <clears throat> Come on, man, is that the same thing? When you're stationary, right? You use steering to stabilize because you know if you if you're uh, you know leaning right side when you're stationary, if you move steering to the right side, you kind of increases the you know the front wheel area, I guess, to make sure you stay stable. Front wheel under you. You're doing exactly what you do when you balance a broomstick on your hand. And so, if the rider is responsible for steering the bike to keep it balanced. How do bikes without riders stay upright? As long as a bike is moving with sufficient speed, it can keep coasting indefinitely. Yeah. I first became aware of this phenomenon through the great videos by Minute Physics, which inspired me to make this video. You should definitely check them out. All right, before he tells us what it is, I want to guess here and see if I'm wrong or not. Now I think when it's just a bicycle there, right, it's a gyroscopic effect now. Since wheels are turning, going in one direction is st stable, right? And, uh, you know, momentum towards that direction is, I guess, you know, stable. So when it tries to lean in any way to fall, right, that requires more energy to basically fall than go straight line. So steering automatically, you know, uh, moves to keep it stable. If there's bumps, small bumps here and there, right, steering itself, you know, adjust and move to make sure it goes in the straight line. I think it's that. But it turned out the ground where we went to test this effect was really bumpy. But the bike still manages to yeah, absorb see, all these you perturbations go. See, there you go. and remains stable. It's, yeah. So how does it do this? I think most people believe it's the wheels spinning that creates some sort of gyroscopic effect that resists falling over. Just like in this demonstration of gyroscopic precession, the wheel stays upright even though gravity is pulling it down. But this is not why bikes are stable. Just watch what happens when we lock the handlebars completely, so you can only go straight ahead. Locked out, locked out. Whoa! All that's happening is the steering is locked. You just gotta ride it, you don't have to turn. You just go straight. Ride. No, I mean, uh, gyroscope does play a part, right? If you somehow can lock the wheels moving and still somehow manage to push it forward, I don't know how, maybe on ice or something, it would immediately fall down. Wheel spin gyroscopic effect is working there, but it's not only that. That alone cannot work. Steering has to be loose for it to adjust along the way. Because since wheels are spinning, it's kind of stable, right? Gyroscopic effect. And then it's going in straight line. So it's one of the, you know, it, it's one to maintain that momentum. So because falling over takes more, I guess, energy out of it than, you know, going the straight line that it's already doing. So steering itself adjusts by turning whenever it's needed. So yeah, if you lock the steering, it will definitely fall down because you you know remove that factor from it. Now it can stay stable. But a gyroscopic effect also is at work here. I don't think if you lock the wheel somehow on ice or something, it will go straight. No, it will fall down. Letting go. Some people tried going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, this is impossible. Others experimented with extreme balancing techniques. He's leaning. Don't leaning go too hard. fast. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but even with the gyroscopic effect of the wheels, no one was able to keep the bike upright for more than a few seconds. Wow. Oh, you need steering to balance it. This is not safe for a second. It is just as hard to balance on a bike with locked steering as it is to balance on a stationary bike. No, this one is impossible. Because you can't steer the bike back under you. The real reason bicycles are stable without riders is because they're cleverly designed to steer themselves. If they start falling to one side, the handlebars turn in that direction to steer the wheels back underneath them. At least three mechanisms are responsible for a bike's corrective steering. The first is that due to the angle of the front fork, the steering axis intersects the ground in front of where the wheel touches the ground. So if the bike starts leaning to the left, the force from the ground on the tire turns the wheel to the left. If the bike starts leaning right, the force from the ground pushes the wheel to the right. The front wheel of a bicycle is essentially a caster wheel, like those you find on strollers or shopping carts. Whichever way you drive them, the wheel falls in line and rolls in the same direction. The second reason for a bike's corrective steering is that the center of mass of the handlebars and front wheel are located slightly in front of the steering axis. 
So when the bike leans left, their weight pushes the front wheel to the left. If the bike leans right, their weight steers to the right. And the third mechanism is a gyroscopic effect, but it doesn't keep the bike upright directly, it just helps steer. If you have a gyroscope and you push down on the left hand side, the gyro will turn left. If you push down on the right side, it will turn right. This is known as gyroscopic precession. Yeah. It seems as though the force you apply takes effect 90 degrees from where you applied it. So bikes are stable primarily because of steering. They have built-in mechanisms for steering themselves. In fact, you don't need all three mechanisms to create a stable bike. Researchers created this weird looking bicycle to prove a point. It has no gyroscopic effect thanks to counter-rotating wheels above the wheels that touch the floor. Plus, there is no caster effect because the front wheel touches the floor in front of the steering axis. But this bike is made stable by its mass distribution, the force of gravity on which steers it in the direction of any lean. Mm. Understanding how bicycles work is still an active area of research. There is a program you can use to input all the different bicycle parameters and see the range of speeds over which it is self-stable. And this research is leading to better bikes. This prototype has a smart motor in the handlebars to actively help <laughs> Damn, I never thought of it that way, but kind of makes sense, right? Steering, steering being extremely crucial when it comes to balancing. Yeah, if uh, your bicycle is leaning one side to stabilize it, you would need a steering and turn in that direction, right? And when you're ri riding the bicycle, you intuitively do certain things that you don't even think about. Like he said, if you're going, you know, s you know, slowly st straight and then you want to turn right, you first turn left, I guess. That is just fucking awesome. Never, I've never even thought of something like that. I rode bike when I was a kid a lot. I don't remember ever doing that, but clearly I did. Okay. So yeah, steering is pretty important. It kind of stabilizes your movement, right? When it leans, you have to turn in that way to stabilize. Without steering, you can't stabilize. Steer, keeping the bike upright even at low speeds. I guess it's fitting that we're still learning new things about bicycles since most of us are able to ride one without any knowledge of how we're actually doing seriously seriously hey this video is sponsored by kiwico creator of damn i love this channel right <laughs> this is a, such a simple fucking topic bicycles who would have thought that is so much it's not a rocket science no it's not a bike science people should say that from now on yeah rockets we know formulas and shit how much fuel you need yeah bikes we're still learning that <laughs> Damn, this is awesome. Alright, people. That was most people don't know how bikes work, but the channel very tessium. Very simple concept. You need steering to stabilize. Kind of makes sense when you think about it, right? I mean, you know, if it if it turns right side, you need a steering to stabilize, otherwise you would fall, right? It's uh, you know physics 101 in a way. But it's uh, such a simple thing and yet nobody thinks about it. It's a surprising topic. Alright, people, if you like Medics and Reform, like, subscribe, check out the Medics Sunday. There's a link in the description. Check out the cars, check out the in cars. And yeah, I'll see you next time.